Hey, what's going on everyone? This video I'm going to teach you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, there are a lot of different versions available worldwide, and the method um, this will work for is for all these listed here. So these are all the versions of the Galaxy S5 this will work for. So to prove that, um, you know, I'm actually running Galaxy S5 in a compatible model shown in that list, as you can see, I have the SMG900F, which is the international model, and it's actually listed right here at the top. Now, um, to see a list of the available models this uh, method supports, you will have to go to this web page, and I'll put a link to this web page in the video description. To simply expand the video description, you'll find a link to this page. Click it, open it, because there's a lot of things you need to do here. First, what you should do is actually sign up to this forum and register and whatnot, and thank the developer for all their hard work, because all credits and props goes to Chainfire of XDA developers whom is a very, very, very popular developer in the uh, smartphone modding community. So sign up, thank them for the hard work, better yet you should donate to them. And uh, this webpage, not only that, is where you'll be asking for help. Because if you ask me any questions, technical questions, I most likely won't answer because I'm not a developer, I wouldn't know how to help you. So sign up, ask in this forum, the community is great, here people respond pretty quickly to help each other out. Or better yet, just use the search function first. So, um, so you sh you're going to ask for help in this forum, you're going to be thanking the developer in this forum, donate to them, thank them, and uh, you're also going to be getting all the original instructions because there are some issues, uh, not major ones, but little ones, that if this method doesn't work, there are some known solutions in the first couple of posts. Okay, so do read it if the method I show you in this video doesn't work. Um, so the first post has some generic information, the second post is the original instructions from the developer, and the third post, which is the most important, has the actual files we need to download. So, before we continue, this will actually uh, void your phone's warranty, uh, and it will interfere with Samsung Knox. So if you need your warranty and you do need Samsung Knox on your phone, do not root using this method. Uh, I don't think there's a method to get around that yet, but just don't do it then if you really need those. Moving along, so we're going to continue, and um, oh, one more important thing is, should you follow instructions in this video and something could go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take responsibility, so you follow instructions in the video at your own risk. Uh, so we're rooting, hopefully nothing will go wrong. So I have this model here, the G900F. I'm going to click this top link, and when you do, you get this web page. This is the download page, another donate link is available here. And you're going to do a scroll down to the bottom here, it says download and whatever file. So you must match your model number with what is here and download the correct file. When you download it, it's actually a zip file, just like this. This is what it looks like. Open it, extract it. I put it on my desktop. I just find it easy. Name the folder whatever you want, like CF root. And this is what you get. Now, this is very important. If you have the uh, MD5 file, which I just highlighted, and it looks like a RAR file or it looks like a WinZip file, do not extract it. Okay, it is very, very important you leave it as it is. Yeah, your file should look something like this. When you unzip the original zip file, you just leave it. Okay, so now we're going to get on with the actual rooting procedure. So with the files you downloaded uh, and extracted from the zip folder, there's one called odin something something.exe. Open it, just double click, uh, press run. Okay, and now you have this window. Your phone should not be connected to the computer yet. Okay, just leave it as it is. And on this window, you're going to click PDA, and you're going to look for that uh, MD5 file, which is out of that zipped file you extracted. Press open. Okay, so the phone's still not connected to the computer, and what I suggest you do is open your USB flap now, just to save the trouble after. And what you want to do is power off the device and get into download mode. So in order to do that, again, your device must be powered off. And what to do is press and hold the down volume button, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Okay, so here's how I do it. Phone's powered off. I press and hold the down volume button first and home button, and I'm still holding them. Now I press the power button last, and I'm pressing all three at the same time. And phone vibrated. Okay, here's what we get. Some people might not get this screen. They might just go past this and straight to the download mode. That's okay. If you're like me and you have this screen, if you want to continue, you have to press the up volume button. So I'm going to do that. Press up volume button. And this is download mode. And what you should do is try to use the wire that came with your Galaxy S5. I'm just using a generic USB cord, so it's all good. Plug it in there, because it's not USB 3.0, I plug it into the right port. <clears throat> okay. And what should happen 
is that Odin should recognize the device. As you can see, IDCOM, some number popped up with a color. If you're not getting this, it means that your computer is not recognizing the phone while it's in download mode. So what you have to do is Google search uh, Galaxy S5 driver or Galaxy S5 root driver, okay? Um, so it'll only work if you get this running. So at this point, now that the computer has recognized it, uh, another thing that the developer mentions is that make sure repartition is not checked. I, I can't even select it, so, you know, whatever. It's not checked, so that's fine anyway. I'm just going to simply hit start. And as you can see, it's working. And what should happen is the device should restart in a bit. But we'll see. This, this is my first time doing it, so let's see what happens. Okay, so it restarted, and I had this, like, uh, red Android logo in the background with a whole bunch of writing. Um, the device rebooted yet again, uh, said so it's updating apps, and now what I'm going to do is a root test to confirm if root is actually working, so let's see what happens. Okay, so when I uh, go to my app drawer, <clears throat> I see Super SU, so, so far so good. When I downloaded is Titanium Backup, uh, to just confirm one more time I actually have root access. There it's asking for root access, grant, I now have a rooted Samsung Galaxy S5. Very, very, very easy. Um, this is the first time I've ever done it, and this is probably one of the easiest routing methods I've ever done on a smartphone. So again, if you have any minor problems, um, you know, the developer flat out tells you that, okay, some user has issued this problem, or another user has encountered this problem or that problem. So do read up. Um, <clears throat> the first three posts are the most common known problems where he might post it. Again, if you can't find your problem, search for it first. If it still doesn't work, then just simply post in this thread. And again, all credits goes to Chainfire on XD Developers. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links, also in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.